as I was saying in the other videos, I, I'm going to want to go ahead and get the gas tank tomorrow. Above the gas tank, um, above the gas tank where her other car that she had actually wrecked a car just like this, and we went and stripped all the parts off it. Right above the gas tank, there's a seal, and, and you have your two metal lines coming out. And when they get salt and corroded, you'll get an EVAP code. Oh, you have a small leak detected. So we're going to go ahead and on this other car from Virginia, we're going to lay that down real thick in there so no salt can get to those, those lines. And we're going to be really happy with that. But uh, as you see, it's a nice car, you know. It's clean. Uh, most of these cars rot out like above the wheel wells where all the salt lays on underneath here But what we're going to do is pull them in inter, uh, inner fenders on the back off We're going to pull the tail lights out tomorrow And we're going to spray all up on the inside of this quarter and, and let that fluid film lay all up on this uh, This uh, seam right here uh, over the quarter panel and get down in here And then they actually have some they have some plugs down there um, going towards the rocker panels. We're going to pull them out run them wands through there and really saturate it This is the initial one now Normally you don't have to once you do this once like this Tacoma for example This Tacoma now I pulled the tail lenses out of this. I've done this truck for three years straight if I pulled these tail lenses out and I haven't done this only but one time when I pull the tail lens out the initial time I could reach in there and then it's just as Oily as you just like I just put on her car. It would be just as oily because that the water the the main debris don't hit it Like when you're going down the road The main areas you want to touch up are right underneath the wheel well areas where the water's whipping around pushing on it But as it gets colder that wool wax locks up like a wax and the salt just can't it can't penetrate it so if we could just Thanos snap our hands and not have salt no more on the roads that would be a great thing we could just eliminate having to prep our vehicles but if you're like me and you don't want to go out and buy a brand new car and have a brand new payment um, every three or four years then you have to maintain your equipment you can't uh, expect this stuff with the amount of salt they put on the roads you cannot expect the the metal to hang hang on and hold on to that and and say the situation is we're going to be able to survive all that salt it can't so you have to put a barrier between it. This is a marine application and intentionally made for salt applications. So as you see how I did it, I like to get the wheel, the plastic liners out, make sure there's no debris in there, no trash, no leaves, and no dirt. Get that all out. Spray everything down real good. Get your wand. Go inside the frames with it. And that's about the best we can do to, to make this last and make this survive. Um... You know, and then you'll have people, you, you'll pull up to the store and they'll be like, how is that car in that nice of shape? I mean, like my daughter's car is a 2010. It's from Virginia. We're trying to keep it clean, people. We're trying to keep it clean. So uh, do what you got to do. The old timers used to spray diesel fuel. I explained that situation. And uh, I had an old Dodge, 93 Dodge uh, Ram that looked brand new underneath. And I had to change the steering box out. And I'm like, I pulled it off and the frame still had the original paint on it not one spot of rust well the old timer sprayed it down with diesel fuel he did protect the metal however the seals like I was telling you that petroleum oil will tear up the seals on everything where this lanolin based fluid film won't do that so as soon as I get done with this we're gonna give you a walk around and and we'll, we'll give you a complete walk around of the situation on the fluid film. But I hope this helped you. If you have a vehicle that you don't, uh, especially with today's economy, you know, you things are getting crazy with uh, things are going out of control with this uh, administration's uh, inflation. So you may want to start taking care of your equipment. Now, you can do this same application to four-wheelers. I mean, go ahead and rust out your four-wheeler frame and see how easy it is to find a new frame. It's not easy. And up here, we use our four-wheelers to plow and you're gonna get a little road salt in your driveway. So, at the end of the day, I shoot it up through my frame on the four-wheeler. You know, I do the bottom of the four-wheelers, I do all the critical areas, I take that little brush and I, I brush up all the uh, little bolts. So, uh, that's what I got for the fluid film. So, there you are, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this series on the fluid film. And we're gonna to try to keep our vehicles in good shape. I hope you do too. All right, stay safe.